Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about solving inequalities. We're solving inequality and graph its solution. So, if I was given this inequality, x plus 1 plus 1 plus 6x is greater than 3 times x minus 4 minus x minus 4. Pretty long one right there, right? So the first thing I like to do is just simplify as much as possible. So the left-hand side being combined together. x and 6x is a 7x, and 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, I really chunk some part of this now. We're going to distribute the 3 across the both parts here. So we have 3x minus uh, 3 times 4 is 12. And then I'm going to distribute this minus sign as well. We have a minus x, and then now a positive 4. Okay. So the right-hand side, let's go simplify again. So 7x plus 2 can stay here on the left, but the right-hand side, let's combine our x's. 3x minus an x is 2x, and negative 12 plus 4 is a negative 8. Okay. So now what I want to do is get my x's together and my numbers together. So I'm going to subtract 2x to both sides, from to the left, and subtract 2 to both sides. The numbers to the right. 7x minus 2x is a uh, 5x, and that's less than, or sorry, greater than, and then negative 8 minus 2 is a negative 10. So what's left is I just divide by 5 to both sides to get x by itself, and I have x is greater than negative 2. So let's go rewrite that up here. x is greater than negative 2. All right? So I need to graph it now. So we have 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, okay? And we said x is greater than negative 2. So we have an open circle at negative 2, right? Because it's not equal to negative 2, just greater than, and we shade to the right, okay? And there we have it. We have a final answer. So let's recap. We're given x plus 1 plus 1 plus 6x is greater than 3 times parentheses x minus 4, and then the next parentheses minus x minus 1. I simplified the left-hand side, and I distributed it on the right, both of these parentheses. And from there, I simplified the right-hand side, and then about all my x's to the left and my numbers to the right. That gave me a final little part here of 5x is greater than negative 10. So I got by 5, and I got x by itself. So I got x is greater than negative 2. Okay? We have an open circle at negative 2 because the x is not equal to negative 2. It's just greater than, so we shape it to the right. And then we have the final answer, just x is greater than negative.